Howdy y'all, are you ready? Let's get it underway. I know, trying something different. Let's see if it works. I have a what sold video or what little sold on video here. Um, during the week, I don't sell much. Going to the post office every day. I have one day shipping set up on my eBay, but I probably could do two, but you know, get that fast and free shipping mark on your eBay account. That everybody just thinks you're just super duper. Uh huh, whatever. Anyway, let's take a look at what sold and I'll try to remember the prices. We have first up uh, Cabela large long sleeve button down. That's what makes it a button down. If you do not have the collar buttons, it is a button up. There is a difference. And just in case all you people have ever wondered, that's the difference. That shirt sold for a total of $19.99. That's free shipping. I probably paid five bucks at Goodwill, so $15 before taxes. Here we have one, two, three, four cassettes of poison. Open up and say, ah, look what the cat dragged in. Swallow this live and the censored version of poison fresh and blood. The uncensored has the fresh and blood bleeding sort of just for all all y'all that really didn't care to know. <laughs> that uh, went global for twenty two thirty nine free ship, which I believe that's around a pound. If it's under, it's two eighty nine. If it's over, it's three forty nine. I will ship it to Kentucky to the global shipping process place and they will take it from there which also makes it easy for us sellers because I've had this before um, they tried to open a case saying that it was damaged or something when you ship it to the global shipping place it's like sending it to customs they will open it and inspect it and when they open it and you have shipped it to the global shipping point in Kentucky eBay will look at it as you have done your part. Um, the people that have unpackaged it to check it may have damaged it and repackaging it because sometimes they don't even pack it back the way you had it. So it's good and it's bad because it's bad because it, um, I believe eBay will use a international priority rate which is like $10, $15 more than if you send it first class international, which is four pounds and under. So if you want to ship global four pounds and under, you can, but you also open yourself for item not as described and have to pay for the return shipping from Germany, the UK, wherever you send it to. That's the downfall. I don't know if a lot of people even know that or care to know that but that's that's what I found is the difference between global shipping and you shipping it international yourself it's cheaper by about 10 15 sometimes 20 dollars depending on the weight and what it is but first class international is four pounds and under so you get more of a first class leeway the other thing that sold sold about an hour ago and I haven't packaged yet so I'm gonna go ahead and send it out today it is this humidifier I found at Goodwill. I think I paid five bucks for it. And it sold for $38.78. That is taxes and everything included. So after fees, I'll still make a little bit of good money off of it. Um, it's fairly light. Um, I'd say under under four pounds. I don't know. Let me see what my specs said. Actually, let's see. Print shipping label. 
let's see what I had listed for. I had it for five pounds, seven ounces. So six pounds, priority mail. The label for priority is going to cost me $42.64. That is not right. What is wrong with eBay today? I tell you. Sometimes you just got to slap eBay in the face. I mean, look at this. Priority mail. 4264 for a and that's the size of the box for a 5 pound 7 ounce. Let's do this real quick. Let's cut a Okay, 1940 to go FedEx which I do not recommend because FedEx, if you've seen, uh, I think his name's John over Flippin' Ain't Easy, he's done a lot of videos on FedEx. You know how we, like here, I put in the weight and the dimensions. No matter how you put in those dimensions, it's gonna equal the same price. And he's done a video on showing that. E uh, FedEx, is having a problem where they will take your weight and everything and change it before they send you the final bill because you know you don't get billed until it's shipped i found that ups don't do that or i haven't noticed them doing it now fedex has changed mine but luckily mine's only changed to maybe 10 20 cents and sometimes they dramatically change the weight and there's no way to get a receipt from FedEx with the weight and measurements on it and that's the bad part because you can't prove what you shipped it for so um, UPS ground here as you can see there's FedEx home delivery for 1940 and then you got UPS ground for 1963 me myself I'd rather pay the extra 23 cents and ship at UPS that way I am more um, comfortable with what eBay is I say eBay John over at Flippin' Ain't Easy has fought with eBay about it and they won't um, do anything about it. I'm going to go into my shipping labels and see if I've shipped anything UPS lately or FedEx. I know I've shipped something UPS and I'm just curious to see if the price has changed once the label was sent for pricing I guess because I don't know if some of y'all have messed with FedEx and UPS they don't charge you until the label is used okay here's a UPS ground um, 1681 is what I paid uh, I don't let's see no, I don't remember. I don't know if I can find the original. Sorry, my computer is really slow right now for some reason. It's not pulling. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's just telling me the whole. Um. The whole deal here anyway it was a printer that I had shipped and I used UPS ground um, it don't it don't have a before and after FedEx labels if you ever pull them up on stuff like this uh, right here if you click on it see it tells you how much you paid for it you FedEx will um, use a it, it actually has a what they what you 
thought you were being charged and what you are being charged. Um, I can't find one right now. But anyway, um, today is Friday the 11th. So this is my three items that sold overnight. Well, two items overnight and one an hour ago that I'll be shipping out today. And yeah, that's about how my eBay sales go during the week. I'm running a sale in my eBay store. Looky what I got. Um, you can go to my, I think my bio has my eBay store listed if you want to buy anything. And of course, uh, now that the video is almost over, I'll ask you to like and subscribe. Because if you made it this far, evidently you like something about it. And I don't believe in asking before the video starts because how do you know if you're going to like something if you don't watch it? But that is it for today. I will hit you up tomorrow probably. I may go to some garage sales. Um, we'll see. Y'all have a good one.